This week, Luke and Dirk prepare most of the groundwork for the outdoor kitchen. And it is also Dirk's last week. We also get something for the animals to help them through this hot, hot time. And I show you what's happening to our plants because it is way, way too hot. Hi, and welcome to our channel. It is getting hot. And when I say hot, it's going up to a crazy amount of degrees during the day. It is just past eight o'clock and it is boiling. I wanted to show you what the plants look like in the morning before the sun wears them down. And then they look absolutely terrible during the day, but then they perk up again at night till the morning. So this is what they look like now. All happy. Uh, let me just show you, look, how big our pumpkins are growing. <laughs> We have one, a two, a three, four, and a few more in the middle over there. I'm gonna pick that later on today. These guys are still nice and happy. Very short term memory. They forget that the sun causes them great pain during the day. So they're saluting the sun now, but give it a couple of hours and I will show you what they look like. Last week I mentioned that these plants were being attacked by what we think now are voles. And because every experience is a learning one, so we know what not to do next year to prevent this from happening again. Well, we can try anyway. So we're going to try a few more raised beds probably next year. Because our lettuce and our carrots and celery are doing amazingly well. We had said that having raised beds isn't so good in summer because it's just so hot and they're off the ground. And... But it's not the case. Because when you have a raised bed, it's contained and you water as much as you need and you can also collect it and put it back into the plants, which is what we have been doing with these beds. And we find it's working really, really well. So next year, there's going to be more raised beds in our garden. So what have we learned from this? We have learned that this is awesome, but we are going to do it different next time. We'll have two rotating beds. So one will be growing and as soon as this one's finishing the other one will be growing so it will always have lettuce because this is something that feeds every single animal on our farm from the chickens to the pigs to the goats and the humans there you go so I have said that it is heating up, so the plants are suffering, but it's not only the plants who are suffering, it is us humans, <laughs> yes, but also Molly is suffering, she hates the heat, and even our chickens most, most of all. The goats seem unfazed by it, and the pigs spend a lot of time in their water. Luke is going more often to one of the lakes we have close by with the molly, so they're getting a little bit of a break from the heat. But we have a solution, because for every problem there is a solution, and Luke is going to the shop today to buy something that's going to help out three out of the six species we have on the farm. The other three are not too bothered by it and those are the guinea fowl, the cat and the goats. But the other three, yeah, will need this. It is now three o'clock and I am slightly less fresh. Boiling is the word <laughs> I'm looking for and it is super hot today and I am going to show you quickly because I think the camera is going to die after a few seconds of being on. Look at the wilt. Look at that. You're like, oh no, sun. It's too much. Voles. We have been told they're voles, so I'm guessing they're voles. And they're making their way up towards our garden. Boom, boom, boom. Uh -uh. That's not good. Molly normally digs the moles, we call them moles anyway for her, or voles up. But there's just so many, I guess, and it's so hot for her to do anything. I'll show you where she is in a minute. But I'm just going to show you the last plant, wilted plant here. This morning it looked so beautiful. As beautiful as it is living in a hot country, which we love and we don't complain about it, you suffer and so do all your animals and plants. Another sufferer of the sun. The peppers suffer too. And the peppers look pretty wilted during the day and then they perk up at night as well. Molly, I'm gonna film you, okay? Oh no, Molly says it's hot. Hey, so Molly says it's so hot. This is a spot Molly chose. She dug a nice big hole over here because she likes staying in cool ground, not hot ground. 
and the, the reason why she chose this and she can't tell you but I will tell you of myself is because the wind is always passing most of the time from underneath the caravan so she has a nice AC I have the AC even though she's hot it's much better than anywhere else in fact when I don't know where to go I come under here with her when it's just too hot to be anywhere else okay. it's really nice under here Molly <laughs> it's very hot, Molly. It's only been gone an hour. Wow, it looks like Lou got something for everyone. Come on. Wait, Molly. Oh, how nice the pose. That's for Peppa and Maggie. Cookies. And what for the Molly Poppy? <gasps> this is for Molly. 16 euros each. Wow. But Daddy got this for Molly. And for Molly. Chill. Okay, let me take them in. Okay, let's fill them up. And six. Luke bought six bottles of water here. And I will tell you why. We don't normally buy water like this anymore because we go to the spring and we fill our jerry cans. But we want to freeze these every day. So we freeze three and then we freeze the other three and everyone will go into these pools. So when it's stinky hot like it is today, they will get one full of ice and the chickens and the pigs and Molly can go into a nice cold bath. So that is the plan. We did it two years ago and it was really, really hot for the chickens and it worked out really well. So we're gonna do this again this year for more animals. Me body you like it? That's gonna be for your water. No! Oh, no, Susie. So this is gonna go for Molly, Daisy, okay? You're not coming out yet. I will come for you tonight. Okay, you're a baby. Okay, it's cold now. Let me fill your water. So we have this for your water now, okay? Let me just wash it. Okay. Daisy's gonna go on your paw paw. Oh no, Daisy! <laughs> Daisy! <laughs> I know you want love, but you know what, Daisy Pie? Today, today we're going to go out walkies soon. Okay, you want to go out walkies soon? Hmm? You want Timmy? Come, come to me. Do you want to be the first to drink from the water, Timmy? You can reach better now, eh, Timmy? Before he used to have to balance on the top and then reach inside. Meepaw. Want some water? No? Timmy has his eye on him, eh? Timmy, you don't trust him. <laughs> Timmy, be careful. Timmy, you can't go further away if you're scared of them. <laughs> Good boy, Timmy. I think Timmy said, don't mess with me, meatball. Meatball, I'll see you later. Susie, come move away from them. To giving it a good scrubbing. It's gonna go here. Come here. Come. Maggie's just drinking from it. It's just a really big water bowl for Maggie, eh? Huh? Yummy. It's nice fresh water. And Peppa. Peppa, are you going to get in? 
Ini Gideon. <laughs> Ini Gideon Maki. You want to get in? Can you get down now? Yes, you can get down. I woke up much earlier than usual just to get the goats and the pigs out earlier than we normally would so we can go back at around 10 because it's crazy hot after 10. At least the little piggies still have a place to wallow a tiny bit down here by the pond but the goats are constantly drinking and Meadwall hardly leaves my side. He just stays pretty close and he comes for water every couple of minutes. So yes, I'll be, so I'll be happy when this heat wave is over but look who's here with us again. Look, it's the guinea fowl. They seem to be spending more and more time around us. The morning walk, they are always here. And what are they doing, Daisy? It's pretty cool. My only four-legged kid who is normally here but isn't is Molly because getting them out a little bit earlier means that she is still asleep because she's a lazy bounds. Peppa, what are you doing? You tired? You want to go home? Mm? Okay, you're tired. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh no, I have nothing. Show me what you can do, guys. Show me what you can do. Maggie, what can you do? You can sit. Can I go? Peppa, you can sit too. Can you turn? Can you turn? Wow, Maggie, you can turn without the side. You can get one more, one more. Sit your butt down, sit your butt down. There you go, and there you go. Now eat your carrot and make a noise. Now I'm gonna keep feeding you girls and I'm gonna show you what Luke and Dirk are doing for the outdoor kitchen. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna stake out like this point, there, there, just to see the difference and we're gonna mark them. Uh, I'm gonna put a marker on this uh, cork up. That's getting faint. Yeah. Three points, whenever you need the laser, the laser again. Now we are actually measuring the level of, the of what we've done, of okay. the area. Yeah. And now we start from the center point, because I assume, well, this is going to be not really a midpoint, but still we have something to work with. Eh? Okay, so we're setting up a jig to make some rebar, to bend some rebar for the columns, for the footings of the columns. 
So we want it 19 centimeters, right? Well, the, on each side. the outside of the columns we're making is 25, so we're gonna mark that first. So we always have a reference to where we don't want to go out. So Fair that's enough. the first thing you do. Okay. So let's see. In the middle, 25 is 12 and a half. Okay, so now we have uh, plus minus 25 square. Yeah, let's check again, double check, always measure twice. <laughs> measure twice, cut once. Yep. Okay, there we go, 25. So now we go in three centimeters from each side. Yep. Okay, so now we have uh, the circumference for the rebar. So now we can drill out. Yeah. So we try and reduce the amount of cracking because this this wood is all day. Yeah. So we're worried yeah. that it will move once we bang the nails in. Mm. So holes, yeah, corners. We only, yeah, we're only gonna use uh, one quadrant actually. Well, this side, and we're so just gonna turn, turn, turn. So one, two, three. Yeah, that's gonna be the corner, 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 so you can bend. Yeah. Okay. And then nail them already. So that's okay. gonna be our corners. <laughs> Trying to make music. Um, uh, nice harmony, yeah. Okay, now. We're gonna get a six mil uh, rebar. Actually, you learned this from Lou. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and we want to put uh, two nails here okay. and here so it doesn't bulge out uh, when we bend it. Okay, now we're good. So That's we it? Have, yeah, just one quarter, one quarter. Nothing here? Uh, no, 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 because no. afterwards we just gonna go. Oh, around, and then we move it round. round. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see how it's gonna go. Yeah. Okay, it's not bad, huh? Mm -hmm. You need huh? the hammer now. Yeah. Just to, to bang it down, eh? Yeah, bang it down in the corner. Yep, nice one. Look at that. <laughs> Brilliant. Then we get it out. And now we have a reference here for the corner. Mm -hmm. We go in there. You have to bang this up. Yeah, and then we bend this one over and under. Yeah, one second. Yeah, bang it. Okay, almost there. Nice one. Now we get it. Really Looking good. Mm. Now we go to the next one. Like this. Light. And then I'm gonna bend it. Yeah. You want to hit it? Okay, nice one. And then this one. Okay. okay. It's looking pretty good. And now the last one. Yep. <laughs> this one already goes in there. Yep. Good. Now bend. Hey, Whitey. <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, if you want to hit it. Okay. Can I have the hammer? <laughs> yeah, just another. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, if you don't want to lose a limp. But <laughs> yeah. yeah. we're gonna bend this anyway, so it's gonna be okay like this. Huh? So uh, we're still okay on this. This this is also important. We got this one. Uh, yes, okay. You see, because I see. Let me hold it. So, you, so you. Yeah. Exactly. Nineteen ish. So it does go down. Try now. Mm. 
this thing. Twenty-ish. This this corner, I can knock it once it's tight. Twenty. Tied. It's okay. Like yeah. that's good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Let's tie her up. Mm. And just go around. The, so the two bars are together. That's actually important. Looking nice. Yep. Uh, because this has these things, these ribs around it, huh? Uh huh. And that's gonna keep it tight in the concrete. That's why they put these. Uh, so ribs. it has something to grab on. Yeah. It. So they have a lot of. Uh, so if it's it won't flat, twist. If it's flat, yeah. it can easily. Yeah. It's, it's gonna go. You can move it, but like now, look. <laughs> Fair <One>. square. <laughs> yeah. Good. Look, the second one is already a lot better. Mm -hmm. It's like pancakes. The first one. The first one. <laughs> <laughs> Five. All right. So now we gonna tie them to the vertical rebar. That's actually the rebar putting the forces stage. into yeah. Luke has really learned a lot from Dirk and we are both so happy that he gave us his time and expertise. In next week's video you will get to see the animals enjoying their pools because the water is still in the freezer and hasn't frozen yet and I've been chasing all the animals to try and put them in the pools. The only ones I've had success with so far are the pigs <laughs> and they already had a little pool. Come with mommy. Good girl, good girl. Oh my goodness you clever girl. Come. Oh clever girl. Yeah. One treat for Molly, Papi. Wait, wait, come, come, Molly. All your paws inside. Come on, inside. Good girl, good girl, good girl, inside. Yes, Molly. Yes, Molly. Clever, clever, clever. Come, clever girl, inside. <laughs> come on, inside, inside. Come, come down, down, down. <laughs> I'm gonna show you how to get into here. Okay. Good girl. Let me just show you what there is here. I'm funny. You're a good girl. You're a good girl, you're... Ah, whoa, whoa. Sunny, how can we show you? As we've said before, it's a bit slower in July and August because of the 40, 42 degree heat. Um, but I got this done, the shuttering. It looks amazing, Luke. Big box mm. made out of a tree. <laughs> <laughs> he was very so... happy, he said, this was a tree this morning. <laughs> <laughs> um, but at least Dirk has explained pretty much how to transfer what he's going to give me on plan into the real, onto the real site, you know. So we've got all these and he's explained how to use the laser and to get the right heights of everything. So I've really learned a lot. Thank you, Dirk, so You're much. Yeah. These are things I'm going to be using mm. for many years to come, mm. I think, you know. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> or he goes back to his old ways again. <laughs> Winging it. <laughs> no, it's awesome. And um, I think hopefully next week or maybe the week after, maybe we'll be able to, I will be able to get my friend with the truck to start getting the logs over here. Um, I was hoping to cut all the remaining trees before I do that. But in July and August here in Portugal, you're not even allowed to use a chainsaw because of the fire danger. So I think I might get one truck now and then one truck after the summer. We'll see anyway. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. But if I could get yeah. them here, then I can start working on them or at least planning. So maybe we will have an outdoor kitchen next time that comes. 
We should. Mm, yeah. We should. What? You, you looked now. out, Phil. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> it will. Because I, I wish I could have done more with it. Yeah. Uh, but the you did plenty. You did that, plenty. That little dot on the horizon decided dot. differently. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's not like uh, you don't work from, let's say, 12 until 7. <laughs> Even 11, eh? Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's too much. Yeah, it's uh, just too, it's too much. It, it's too hot. It's you too can't hot. do much. No. That's it, why we don't get volunteers in July and August, yeah. you know. Yeah. No in point. fact, trust me, <laughs> <laughs> it's torture. Yeah. It's too much. It's yeah. too much. And Dirk is leaving. Yes. Very soon. Dirk is leaving in the morning. Yes. Mm. And Back to been, Belgium. Mm. It's been very yeah. nice having him. It's been awesome. It's been awesome. It's been awesome yeah. having, mm. apart from his expertise and all the work he's done. He's just a joy to be around. Mm. It's been very mm. enjoyable. And Molly, Molly gets Molly's gonna miss her him morning so massages. Much. Oh my Good morning, evening, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. He's yeah. just her masseuse. But right. I, you'll, you'll get the invoice, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's like, I'm going, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, so how have you found, you've been here four weeks now? Yeah. Oh, well, uh, for me, it was a lovely experience uh, now because, yeah, I, well, I'd been twice in, uh, Portugal, in Portugal, Lisbon is a city area and stuff. Uh, so yeah, but this is like totally different. This is like wow. <laughs> Even when I'm driving, <laughs> driving up here, coming down, it felt like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. yeah, and you had a few a few afternoons when you went out on with your car and drove yeah, around the, the, area, the area, and everything is like yeah, you have uh, specific uh, geographical things like uh, uh, you have sloping areas and hill areas, and and yeah, it's just beautiful out here. Huh? The Castelo Branco area, well, the it central uh, area of Portugal. Yeah, but the city is beautiful. Like when you go in City. to the mountains. No, but it is. It's mm -hmm. it's really nice to look at. Yeah. And I did mm. stop you from what you're saying. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, just saying, uh, because yeah, I uh, came here with uh, well two things uh, I wanted to do is for myself uh, discover the area and help you guys out. So uh, yeah, I think uh, it went well. Huh? Success. Because, yep. I think it did. <laughs> I wanted to help more out, but then like said he's before, helped us plenty. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yes. No. And afterwards, uh, we're gonna keep in contact and we're gonna uh, digitally uh, go. Uh, uh, for the plans and so on, yeah, and yeah, for yeah. Uh, the ruin and other projects, that's good. Awesome. And next year, we already kind of agreed in May, I'll be back. Yes, he learned his lesson <laughs> and so have we. Yeah. A month <laughs> earlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they say it's exceptional, because I came here and it was already like smack on. Yeah, when yeah. he came, when he came, we got a heat wave yeah. right, the first four days. Yeah, and look at me, I'm like this this fraggled ginger <laughs> Belgian guy who normally yeah. uh, defrost at zero degrees. <laughs> and this is like, for me, it's like, uh, okay, yeah. Even yeah, the first three days I didn't eat that much. Yeah? No, 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 yeah. no, no. Yeah. it took you a while. I mean, yeah. it's not great to acclimatize in a heat wave, you know. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. <laughs> it was, was like, a, we'll get it to you, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we did get you something to show a little token of appreciation, if you want to do the yes. honors, Sarah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sounds uh, or made you something anyway. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yeah. Some Portuguese beer. Oh, thank you. And my olive, olive wood holder. Even this? Of course. Yes, that's for you. <laughs> Come on, man. This too much. Oh, too much. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I made you our logo. Oh, With brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Yeah. Kind of well, a logo. Look at it. It's beautiful. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Molly, Poppy. Molly, Timmy. Yeah. <laughs> and the cork oak. Our logo, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, it was. No, no, oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so nice. Oh, and. oh. Look. It's from all of us, you see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Molly, Timmy, Daisy, <laughs> Meatball, Susie, Peppa, Maggie, mm. Larry and the Fools. That <laughs> and sounds like a band. Sunny and the Chucks yeah, and yeah, a million yeah. mice. <laughs> and the Chucks. And yeah. Chucks yeah. <laughs> oh, guys. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Kisses. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, give me your <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Look, this is something really small. This yeah. is, yeah, a very nice surprise. Thank you. Very much. Beautiful. Oh, look at it. Look at Molly, it has yeah. different colors because she's three colors. 
<laughs> well, I didn't have leaves in brown, white and... And black. This is gonna go straight up on my wall in the living room. <laughs> ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Put it up here. Alrighty, guys. We're gonna leave you with that. Mm. Yep. Yep. But Have a safe trip home, Doug, mm. tomorrow. Yes. We will tell you in person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm leaving at six in the morning. <laughs> no, just kidding. Get out of here! <laughs> no, but uh, that is it from us for today. Yeah. No. And we'll be sharing some of the bin plans with you maybe in no. one or two weeks. Yeah, when he sends them over and anyway. Yeah, no but rush. I mean, no it's rush, but it's exciting. With, I'm sure. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm looking forward to him coming back and seeing this finished in next May <laughs> and he's gonna be like wow it looks exactly like the plans uh, no like, yeah. <laughs> we have no record <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you in May <laughs> yeah. yeah all righty guys okay, ciao ciao thank bye. thanks bye. for watching Luke has been going more regularly to the Luke has been going more regularly regularly to the lake Luke has been going more regularly to the regularly Luke has been going regularly. Why can't I say regularly? <laughs> Why is it sounding stupid? Luke is going more often to the lake. That's a nice case you got here, mate. <laughs> 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 What's this? What am I doing?